Hi everybody, this is Dr. A. I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use this OECD Data Explorer. Uh, I mean, obviously you can use keywords here, um, but I'm going to show you how to just kind of poke through and find stuff. So this is for Intro to U.S. Healthcare, so we're going to look at health. Um, and so um, you can look at risk factors, pharmaceutical market, healthcare coverage, health status, health expenditure and financing. So we're going to go with health expenditure and financing. And then um, you have, you know, different topics here. The um, unit of measure we can use, um, we can do like um, percentages of expenditure in the same function. We have all kinds of stuff. So let me actually first narrow it to the reference area. So let's say, I mean, we're going to do U.S. right now, but like if you wanted to see for another country, if you're doing a comparison, you could select any of these countries here and so I'm gonna find where did the United States go? <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. A, and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use this OECD Data Explorer. Uh, this this is for the Intro to U.S. Healthcare class, so we're gonna go to the health section. And um, there, here are all different things that you can already narrow it down. But the first thing you want to do is go to the reference area, and that's the country you want to um, get the data for. You can get it from multiple countries, um, but let's start with the U.S. Okay. All right. So um, these are all the different things within health that we can look at uh, for the U.S. Um, and I'm going to look at within the topic. Uh, what we have for health expenditure and financing. So we can look at health expenditure and financing, revenues of healthcare financing schemes. Um, so let's go to health expenditure and financing. Okay, so then we can also narrow down the measure, uh, unit of measure. So you can look at, at the percentage of the GDP, which is a pretty common one. Okay, um, and we can also look at um, you know, in U.S. dollars only, if you want to. There you go. And then uh, the financing scheme. Do you so you can have it in total, but uh, let's look at government uh, schemes, compulsory schemes, voluntary, voluntary health care, out of pocket. Get all of those things. Okay. Uh, and so to give you an overview here, but if you go to the table you will get the data. And so these are the years. Um, and then they'll, you know, the latest will usually be either 2021 and 2022. Uh, and so it has all these units and measures. So it tells you in total, so um, total in millions uh, right here. Um, and then this, so this is all total amount of dollars spent on so total on healthcare, on government compulsory scheme, government schemes, etc. But then you can go um, scroll down since we had also selected as percentage of the GDP. There we go. So um, the percentage of the GDP um, that we currently spend on, um, let's see, where are we at? On, total on healthcare has gone down, thankfully. Uh, is 16.6. It was 17.4. Before that was 18.8. So it had gone up with the pandemic and then it's coming back down some, but um, we're still incredibly hot. Um, so as a percentage of the GDP, how much is from government and or compulsory schemes? So compulsory schemes have to do with like when you're made to buy health insurance, it's about 14% of GDP. So a big chunk of this total is from uh, government and compulsory schemes. Um, they don't have the data for 2022, but for 2021, about 5% of the GDP was from government schemes and 9.2 was uh, compulsory contributory health insurance schemes, which tra translates to your uh, health insurance that you get at work. Um, and then again, as percentage of the GDP, out-of-pocket payments, uh, people um, spend about 2.5% of the GDP has been spent on out-of-pocket payments. Um, and um, 
So that, oh, and voluntary schemes, but 1.9 is just out of pocket only. So there's, uh, you can change also if you want to look at different units of measure. So you can do per person, so that's the data per capita. So if you want to see how much this is for, uh, per, pay, per capita. I'm going to take the US, total US dollar one off. Um, and it's, it takes it a minute to, to figure it all out because it's applying all the filters and then it's going to pop up. So per capita, so per person in the U.S. total, we spend about $10,000, $10,331 per person in health care. Uh, from the government spends about, uh, from government schemes, is about 3295 from your health insurance at work, compulsory one is five thousand seven hundred and sixty-nine. Uh, your out of pocket is about one thousand one hundred and fifty-nine dollars per person. Uh, and so, yeah, that's in the national uh, currency per year. So anyway, so that gives you some um, ideas of like how to mess with it a little bit, uh, and then you can even look. Uh, yeah, so we looked at financing schemes. There's a way to look at percentages also. I'm not going to click around on it. So now we um, were looking at, uh, you know, different things. So we can go back to the search results here. Um, and we get a bunch of filters were already applied. So we wanted, not that one, sorry about that. Uh, financing scheme, we got, there's another there, and then we go back again, so start back over. Um, for health, you could go here if you wanted to look at the pharmaceutical market for risk factors for health, you could do that, and um, they have, right now, they have body weight, food supply, alcohol consumption, tobacco consumption, so we can go, let's look on tobacco, and then we can go um, see what measure tobacco consumption, share the population who are daily smokers, and you hit table. You can do chart also, but tables are pretty nice. And then oh, we've got everybody because I didn't select the reference area. This is the data for everybody in the U.S. So it's 13. Um, and this is uh, the unit of measure for this one. It says cigarettes per smoker per day. Okay, um, the other one is grams per person, all right, uh, this one is percentage of the population, so percentage of the population um, for the U.S., we are 8.8, .8, so it's been going down, we're, we were at around 11, so now we're at 8.8% of the population, so smoking has been going down, we can see it's trending down, right, um, the U.K. is trending down, but they're still higher than we are. Uh, here, the Luxembourg very high when when you look in rela relation to all the others. So anyway, so these are ways that you can use. Now, not everything is in this new database, and so they do have the link here to the uh, older one, which is here, um, and it's slightly different in the way it displays. So here you go, health, and then you have uh, different ways you can expand. So. If we wanted to look at healthcare um, utilization, we have screenings and consultations. Well, here's health expenditure and financing. And so we can just click here, health expenditure and financing. And uh, it gives you again all the latest data. And then here, this one, you have to select here. So if you have all financing and schemes, that's total. And as a share of the gross domestic product, but here you can change it as per capita uh, or current prices, et cetera. So um, if we like, did this, it would go from percent of the GDP to uh, per capita, but it always shows for like everybody. Um, and so you just have to scroll down to, to see the country that you're looking for. Uh, you can do all providers, uh, and then if you wanted to know what like, the government slash compulsory schemes are, and they don't have it broken down, so it's just gov government and compulsory all together. Uh, and then this one, the volunteer, they do have it broken down. Um, so if you want to see how much you're spending out of pocket per capita, because that's what we have, I had selected on the bottom measure, in a minute then it will give you uh, the values here and then you scroll to find the country 
select for the U.S. It is in 2021, it was $1,300 per capita for household out-of-pocket payments. So um, you can play around and look here for um, different measures you want to look at. Um, and so that can help you get the statistics that you need for your project for U.S. And then when we look at other countries like Canada and Australia and some of the other smaller countries like France and Italy, etc., you can get these, either an older one or the newer one. And as long as you stick with recent numbers, um, you'll be good. So anyway, so that, you know, that's a quick little tutorial on how to use these.